And we're like, you know, why don't we put Richard Dreyfuss out there? So I get this tape of Jaws, uh -huh. you know, <clears throat> and I started doing, what was his line? Um, Mr. Vaughn, Mr. Vaughn, what we're dealing with here is an eating machine. <laughs> you know? I was watching TV one day and I saw Dick Eppard talking about Homeland Security and I changed the channel and I saw Joe Lieberman talking about tax cuts. And I changed the channel again, I heard Sharpton say, I did not call Giuliani a bozo. <laughs> I said Bozo could have done just as good a job as Giuliani. <laughs> but basically it was him like reading the paper between commercial breaks and then he comes back and he goes, they're putting steroids in baseball. <laughs> you can't impress me by hitting 70 home runs anymore. You want to impress me? Do it the way Babe Ruth did it with a 12 Boilermaker hangover and a scorching case of the clap. <laughs> And I remember there was a scene between him and, and Sean Connery where Sean Connery said, like, you know, Alcatraz used to be a fort in the Civil War. And Nicolas Cage went, well, you know, that's just wonderful to hear. And maybe on the way out we can stop in the gift shop. But right now, I don't know, I really want to find some rockets. <laughs> oh, hey. Nicolas Cage is out of breath. <laughs> Nicolas Cage is still out of breath. <laughs> uh, oh, Nicholas Cage oh, is clearing oh, his throat. Oh, oh. All right. In Honeymoon in Vegas, too, I remember that there was a line, like the line was just, yoo-hoo, can I get a room? And I remember he went, yahoo, can I get a room? <laughs> I was like, it's just unbelievable to watch and just to just scream a word out of nowhere. He's <laughs> always going crazy. It's just like, oh my God. Sure, Vince Vaughn, can I do this Vince Vaughn? Vince Vaughn. Vince Vaughn, Vince Vaughn. I, uh, t tonight's musical guest, baby, they performed in Sydney, but, but currently they reside in Brooklyn, like right now, like New York style, you know what I'm saying? The group's new album, Michelle Pocar, is out right now, you know what I'm saying? So live on the live stage is trying sound. It's Death Set, come on, baby, live it up, baby. Well, I also love uh, Tom Brokaw. Uh, Tom Brokaw, you know, it's a voice of integrity. Demonstrations in Egypt escalated today when protesters stormed the outside of the palace of President Hazi Mubarak. <laughs> Not exactly the guy that you'd want to uh, give you directions on a dark night if you got lost. <laughs> oh, you got off the main highway, did you? Oh, here's what you want to do. You want to get back on, take a second exit. You're going to go under the freeway. <laughs> take about a quarter mile, you're going to bit of a dog leg. I go to the nearest gas station and say, where the hell am I? Hard to tell with Al, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was a yeah. little. He, he, oh, you're yeah. looking good, Dave. <laughs> so glad to be back on your show. <laughs> That's right. Al. We're here, Al. Al. I lost my hair. I lost my hair. <laughs> I worked on something just for this moment. <laughs> Okay. I had to write it down. Uh, whoa. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Ah. Here it is. Here it is. <laughs> Tui Asasopopo. <laughs> Oh, that guy. Yeah. That is brilliant. Oh, thank you. But I get a cappuccino. Oh, Dave, you're a big man. Yeah. I'll give you a stick of gum. You can show me how to chew it. Oh, hoo-ha. Well, you look great. I got to tell you. What's your secret? Well, I um, just try to stay out of the moon. Really? I always heard about the, the sun being bad for you, but, uh, oh, oh, the sun is not good for you. No, 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 no. But, uh, moon worse. Yes. Um, you see, uh, reflective light is a dangerous, but a refractive fatal. I see. Yes, of course. Um, this is my close heel focusing. Um, you've heard of ADD. Yes, of course. But, um, I have a SD attention surplus disorder um. his partner is al michaels a guy who's na known for the phrase do you believe in miracles yes which i say whenever the entire audience gets that here's a guy who doesn't say it that often but 
He's not, he was the greatest play-by-play -play man of all time, but John Mann has turned him into the and by and man. Because and is the only word you can say after Madden states the obvious. You have to say it over and over again until Madden's finally done. Madden will say something like, hey, that guy right there, that guy's got mud on his jersey. <laughs> and, and, uh... And now there's less mud on the field? And, and now he's got to get a clean jersey? And, and I don't know, Pat never did this crap to me. Hello, America. <laughs> and those of you from Nantucket. <laughs> Guys back there know what I'm talking about. He can put if I or it Kate onto anything that's a Bushism. I gotta think of I. <laughs> I must brainificate. <laughs> He's the only president who can answer a question like a 17-year-old girl. Whatever. <laughs> Uh, Jeff Goldblum. I love Jeff Goldblum because he'll commit to something 100% and then do a complete 180. I know. That's a lot of math. Uh, <laughs> some of these jokes, you have to be a rocket surgeon. <laughs> but he will. He'll, he'll commit to something. And, and it, it, you know, he'll be like, uh, he'll be like, what's your favorite food? I like hot dogs. They're very, very good. I like hot dogs, mustard, ketchup, all kinds of things. Chili dogs are great. Chili dogs are really good. Uh, uh, oh, wait a second. I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> but Jay-Z sounds too nervous all the time, doesn't he? He always sounds fearful, like he's, I blame it on Beyonce, man. It's Beyonce. Anytime you have a woman that's that fine, you're always afraid she's gonna leave. You ever hear him talk to Beyonce? He's like, hey, you ready, B? <laughs> Yo, it's so crazy right now. I'm gonna be right here whenever you come back, you heard? It's bananas. <laughs> Rock is directing. Cat, cat, cat. What are y'all doing? What? What are y'all doing? What? 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 Jay Z and Fifty Cent. Fifty Cent and Jay Z. Jay Z, wait a minute. How you get Beyonce with them big lips? Hey, Denzel Washington's the acting coach. So, uh, so you telling me you want to be actors now? Ha 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 ha. Oh, ha, 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 ha. So, uh, do you trying to tell me that that's what you want to do? You want to be an actor, huh? Huh? <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Is that what you... No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't lie to me, damn it. It seems like no matter what happens, no matter how bad things get, Jimmy Stewart can look at it in a positive way. Well, I guess we're going to have ourselves a nuclear holocaust. <laughs> well, hey, everybody, come on over to the window. <laughs> Look at that mushroom cloud. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? And, and, and the amazing thing to me is that the, something so magnificent, <laughs> colorful, could just... Melt your face right off. <laughs> That's positive energy. You get a nice, real, intense close-up here. Yeah. Okay, David Cruz this time. <laughs> well, I guess we've found our man. He used Very to be powerful. Uh, he used to be an English teacher. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I before E. Yeah. Except after C. Very nice. I hear he's doing cartoon voiceovers. Car cartoon voiceovers. I wonder what that would be like. <laughs> I did. I did. I did to you, putty tat. Rocky, I know this is your big comeback. And I know I came back from the dead to train you. But this fight tonight is pure inside of it. No way, Father. 
You just want to, you move. You blue. You blue. You blue. Easy, right? Not too many syllables. I got light headed there. <laughs> yeah. Look, listen, I still got the eye of the tiger. You know that. Look, Rocky, you got the eye of a tiger and the IQ of a lima bean. You're not going to be fighting a man tonight. You'll be fighting an animal. Animals don't scare me. Yeah? Well, this one will. <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld. America's got talent. You've got talent. This guy's got talent. What kind of a show is this? People are clapping. People change, are... change. Next, uh, Bill, Bill Cosby. Well, thank you know, to people to come up with the juggling and the flipping and putting the thing. You lift the head. Change, down. change. Uh, Robin Williams. Robin Williams. Okay, thank you. Yes, thank you. Yes, and there's a kid at home going. Yes, there's something going. On. What the hell going on there? Yes, something going. And kick and ball and chain and kick and yes. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> what kind of a show is this? <laughs> I was just backstage. I saw a little girl singing opera, standing next to a magician on stilts. That's not right. James. All right. Um, Pee Wee Herman. It's really great to meet you, Sharon. Okay, thank you. Uh, Larry the Cable Guy. Well, that's there out there. That's the amplifier there. And that's, that's some people sitting over there. Change. Get her down! Okay. Uh, next is Stephen, Stephen Wright. I was once a contestant on America's Got Time. <laughs> and I lost. Because the judges didn't know that my secret talent was losing at competitions. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, last but not least, uh, Adam Sandler. All right. How you doing, Neil? My, my mother used to say all the time to me, she said, she would say, uh, why don't you have any daddy? And I would just say, shut up! <laughs> what about the people who said you, you, you got a... <laughs> right? About what Sorry. about the people who said you got an Oscar for yelling? Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> These are people. Look, you know what? There's let's, envy. Let's be truthful. Sure. I should have won an Oscar for The Godfather. I should have won an Oscar for Godfather 2, for Serpico, Dog Day Afternoon, not Bobby Deerfield. Um, Thank you for that. And Justice for All. I should have won a fucking Oscar for 25 motherfucking movies. But I didn't. <laughs> and now, they give it to me for Son of a Woman, and I should win it for Heat as well. Um, I did do an Anna Rickman, yeah. Could we trouble you for a little of your Rickman? What would you like me to say to you? <laughs> In Sorry. time with the Chewbacca thing, just natural well, knee-jerk. That's, that's one of my you favorite Chewbacca moments. It's just that. <laughs> Owen Wilson and Vince Vaughn will dance together. Yeah, you know, this is really cool being here with you, man. I mean, you're my dog. You're a great yeah. dog. You are. You're my compadre, my amigo. Ah, uh, yeah, you know, I see what you're doing there, kid, and I gotta tell you, it's creeping me out, okay? And it's not a good creep. You know, on the TLC tip creep with like Chili Chill and T-Bots and Left Eye Lopez, it's a bad creep, you know? <laughs> you wanna dance? Let's dance. Here we go. I missed uh, the opportunity to wish a happy birthday to Christopher Walken through the wonderful world of YouTube uh, about a week and a half ago. I'm a little pissed off about it, so I wanted to do so in my own fashion. Here we go. Chris, I know you're out there somewhere, you big, bold, beautiful cup of tea. Happy birthday to you and many more. Oh boy, here we go. Hate to bother you. Sorry about this. It's just that I had a few questions myself about Dayton, Ohio. What is it? that's going on here other than the room service in the hotel room because I have not been outside and I gotta tell you I'm a little frightened people seem nice and friendly don't get me wrong but uh, I went out last night did a couple of shows at a, uh, at a local comedy club people were fantastic but I was a little afraid to be honest with you when I tried to go out this morning well not not Jimmy I, 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 I know what you're saying <laughs> I'm aware of what you're trying to say, and the answer is yes. 
He just won't leave me alone. Well, when, when he writes to you, what do you respond? He writes letters, goes on and on about himself, and I just say, good for you. Marlon? English actors, English actors do not admire your diction. How did you acquire it? Could it by any chance, could it by any chance have been a result of your training at the actor's studio? Listen, I didn't learn tiddly twat at the actor's studio. Frankly, I'm just sick and tired of all you cats just living off my name forever. <laughs> so leave me alone and bring me the Doritos, would you? Let me ask you a question. That sounded a little like Chris Rock coming out. There. Really? Yeah, but I would imagine... I'm in Magic Mike! <laughs> magic Mike! Magic Mike! Magic Mike! Whole bunch of naked people walking around. If your wife hasn't been laid, of course she's gonna go and see it. Either that or Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> Andy came to Shawshank Prison in 1947. I must admit I didn't see much of Andy the first time I laid eyes on him. He had a walk and a talk. It just wasn't normal around here. I figure uh, if he starts World War III, we'll be in our bunkers. He'll still be selling us on closed circuit TV. You know, we had a fabulous nuclear war. It was fabulous. <laughs> Tremendous nuclear war. Your bunkers are terrific. Your bunkers are fabulous. The Chinese bunkers are a disaster. A disaster. Okay, 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 yeah. okay, okay. Uh, there were rumors. There were yes. rumors. There were people, was... people were talking, Cody. Okay, okay. Now, I do him very feminine. I don't know why. Well, Just yeah, a you... little bit of lotion, a little bit of chips. <laughs> Imagine him getting a manicure. Okay, yeah. just go easy. Yeah. <laughs> little hands, little tiny hands. Yeah. I'm not tiny down there. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm prepared to do, I will find somebody with lots of money. I will take their money and give it to the guy who doesn't have money. <laughs> Dennis's favorite. Yeah, Carvey, great scooter. Yeah, do the Robin Leach thing, babe. That'll be real good. Yeah, okay. I'm Robin Leach, lifestyles of the rich and famous. Oil billionaire, McGee, McGoo, Gagee, Gagoogie. He's worth a quarter of a billion dollars. He has 12,000 homes. You have nothing. That's why you're watching this stupid show. Okay, it's Robin Leach. Um, Jimmy Stewart from Weir Window. Ah, uh, no. You know, what, what kind of person ju just chops somebody up? I mean, what, what kind of mind would do that? I mean, ju just where would you start? Would you start at the head, or would you work your way down to the feet? Or where, where, where would you start with, with something like that? I mean, what the hell would you do? Yeah. Oh, don't be afraid. Oh, look. Oh, a diaphragm for an elephant. Oh, don't be afraid. Oh, look, Mr. Happy. Oh, oh, I can't fight with that. Oh, look. Oh, oh, big penis. Oh, oh. Well, actually, I was doing... I was doing Robin like senile, like age 70. I'm doing punchlines that make no sense whatsoever. Oh, look. Oh, oh. Oh, oh look. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, don't be afraid. Oh, oh. Oh, Mr. Happy. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Robin really enjoys when I do this. Uh... Yeah, Carvey, it was good when you did the Williams kid. That was great, Scooter. Yeah, yeah, make fun of a legend on tape. Way to go. All right, back. Um, uh, let's see, what else? Um, <laughs> you're my favorite impression now, Ben. I do, um, John, this is an old one. I did John Tavolta. Um, yeah, here's a joke. I I'm not too good at stand-up comedy, but here it is. Okay, um, two guys are walking into a bar. Okay, like one guy's walking in there. There he is. You can see his little feet. He's there walking, okay? And there's a guy. There's his little mouth. He's like talking, okay? And then there's another guy in the bar there w walking like that. You can see his little mouth talking, you know? And now they're like just talking there. Okay, now here's the good part. This guy says, this guy says, what are you drinking, you know? He says, I don't know. Then this guy says, hey, look at that lady over there. And this guy, wait a minute, this guy says, hey, that's not your lady, that, that's my wife, you know. 
I did better before at home. You know, I really screwed it up here. Dude, we're gonna get a real Will Smith clip here. Uh, Will, about your your yeah, movie, the uh, the new Scientology propaganda film you put out with your son that yeah, bombed yeah, yeah. at the yeah. box office. You've never had a, a, a movie out, not man. debut at number one. I mean, you know what? Uh, you know, you know. On, sometimes, Will. you know, you know, you just, you know, I put Jaden up there, and you know, you know, maybe he needed like another, you know, fresh prince about Led something to like, yeah. you know, you know, uh, get get him ready. Yeah, you know, I mean for the big screen, but uh, he's doing a good job. You yeah. know, I, I appreciate you know my son, but you know, daddy, you know, daddy does best, you know, and that's <laughs> you know, you know, daddy couldn't, you know, cha ching, daddy couldn't. <laughs> Like Shaq, you and Kobe are feuding. What's going on? I told Kobe. I told him. So know how I play. Kobe know how I play. Give me the ball. I'm a dunker. I'm big brother. He's little brother. We'll be fine. Like motherfucker, what? Like Charles, what do you think about Shaq getting traded to the Phoenix Sun? The Phoenix Sun. Uh, let me tell you something. Shaquille on now. And def he's de let me Kobe Bryant. Let me can it. Limited. Kobe, Kobe, everybody know Kobe. Fought the pawns, fed the pawns, greatest play. Let me tell you something. Everybody. <laughs> Jay, I'm telling you right now. Hey, Jay, you want to go to jail or you want to go home? All right, my nigga, that's what I'm talking about. Everybody right in. I'm telling you, my nigga. <laughs> hey, man, I appreciate you giving me this, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. I would appreciate it if I would have got this, if I would have made it something serious. But since you had me do a comedy on my life, thank you! I appreciate you! What's up, man? I would like to, I'd like to say to the Academy, I'd like to appreciate the Academy for the award. Huh? Feels good having your name on this best actor of 04, Jared Farrell. Who is he? Who is this? Who is, who is this nigga? This, is, this, this, this isn't Denzel's name. My name isn't Jerry. Hey yo, Sat. I finally got an award, Sat. Hey, look, Sat. Hey yo, it's 50. And I'm on my mouth like a ventriloquist. Funny thing about it, I'm in ventriloquist. I don't never move my mouth. But with my mouth, we popped off 24-7. Take that in, cut that. <laughs> yeah! Crazy. The first thing he says when he walks out, he's like, all I want to know is there's going to be an 18 too, and can I be in it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, but I've worked with some, I mean, Owen Wilson, it's like, you can't, you know, Dave, I loved Hall Pass. <laughs> what a great movie. Jason Sudeikis, what a funny character. <laughs> Michael Douglas, oh, what a great actor. I was in Wall Street, and I announced the nightly news with Brian Williams. <laughs> All right, Mark, Mark Wahlberg. Marky Mark, what? Are you serious? I'm so confused. Where are we? WCIU, what does that stand for? What? <laughs> and the... That one's kind of scary. <laughs> I love Shakespeare. He's a famous pirate. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, his name is Shakespeare, not Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that one's on. More Morgan Freeman. Ah, yes, Morgan Freeman. Well, every child needs to hear the story of the penguins and how they walk from one end of the earth to the other. <laughs> yes, yes, Morgan Freeman. <laughs> oh, Robin Williams, yes, he can speak very fast. He can be a very fast comedian. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. Oh, yes, I am. But also, I can speak very slow. I can be in Goodwill Hunting. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Oh, bye, but I can speak very fast again. Yes, yeah. I like bye. that. Do you remember Alan Rickman in, uh, in Robin Hood? Wow, get out of here. When he's like, uh, <laughs> yeah. like I'm going to cut your heart off with a spoon. <laughs> and someone says, why a spoon, cousin? And he goes, because it's dull, you twit, it'll hurt. Whoa. <laughs> and then all Hemsworth has to do is walk into the gym, walk into the room, and people just like, I mean, Chris Evans, who's Captain America, is like, dude, <laughs> <laughs> how do you fucking do that, man? Like, that... The, the bit between your bicep and your trunk. Like, what's that bump? Like, <laughs> fuck, man. I've been working out. I'm supposed to be Captain America, but you actually are Thor. Like, look at you. You are Thor. Like, that guy. That guy is Thor. Adam Sandler as Horatio Kane. He would take it that he'd be like, Ah, it's a... Uh, okay, ah, uh, it's a... Uh, no, I... I, uh... I, I, I don't know. I, 
there's dead people here, you know. But, uh, lava, lava, <laughs> But, uh, she's dead, but she has very nice big titties that are dead, too. <laughs> she had dead. What? Awesome. Norm MacDonald as Horatio Cain? Are you kidding me? What would have been better than Norm MacDonald as a Miami homicide detective? He just comes on, he's all laughing and confused. Oh my God, what the hell? What the hell? Hey, uh, there's a guy here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, hold on a minute there, buddy. Hey, a uh, guy here. Uh, oh my God. That guy's got a giant, giant hole where his chest used to be, you know? Oh, my God. Uh, Alan Arkin, who I do in, in my act, you know, he and his old, uh, youngest son, Tony, created a game called One Word Impressions. So you do an impersonation of someone, but you can only use one word to sell the entire impersonation. And here's the toughest part. You cannot use a word that person is famous for saying. Okay? That's cheating. So for Liam Neeson... The word is bananas. You all have uh, <laughs> familiar with the word. And Liam Neeson says that word like this. Bananas. <laughs> Did you learn how to do Jason Statham? Yes, okay. there we are. There we are. All right, six words <laughs> boiled down to two syllables. Those six words are do you know what I mean? Right? Those are the six words in a row, which he says and boils them down to two syllables. Dummy. <laughs> if I put you in that chair, you'd be dead in 30 seconds. Show me. So I'll be driving, I'll be speeding. Cop pulls me over. He'll come with the window. Ah, oh, jeez, was I speeding? <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> I, I guess I was looking at the odometer. William Shatner for the You Show. This is not about me. Tonight's show is about you. <laughs> I'm only here to help you find the you, you, inside of you. <laughs> Let's see if we can't help someone here this evening. Anyone at all. A question. Remember, this is not about me. It's about you. So let's ask a question. Let's see if we can't help you. Anyone at all? Here. Yes, sir. Your grandfather. That's a very open and honest question you've asked, young man, in front of a group of strangers, and we appreciate it. Let's see if we can't help you <laughs> by talking about me. <laughs> My grandparents passed away years ago. I can't relate to your problem. Good luck to you. Next question, please. But Jay Z sounds too nervous all the time, doesn't he? He always sound fearful, like he's, I blame it on Beyonce, man. It's Beyonce. Anytime you have a woman that's that fine, you're always afraid she's gonna leave. You ever hear him talk to Beyonce? He's like, hey, you ready, B? <laughs> Yo, it's so crazy right now. I'm gonna be right here whenever you come back, you heard? It's bananas. <laughs> Chris Rock is directing. Cut, cut, cut. What are y'all doing? What are, are y'all doing? What? 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 Jay Z and Fifty Cent, Fifty Cent and Jay Z, Jay Z, Riddle Minute. How you get Beyonce with them big lips? Hey, Denzel Washington's the acting coach. So, uh, so you telling me you want to be actors now? Ha ha ha! Oh, ha ha ha! So, uh, do you trying to tell me that that's what you want to do? You want to be an actor, now, huh? Huh? <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Is that what you... No, 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 don't, don't, don't lie to me, damn it. It seems like no matter what happens, no matter how bad things get, Jimmy Stewart can look at it in a positive way. <laughs> well, I guess we're going to have ourselves a nuclear holocaust. <laughs> mushroom cloud. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? 
and, and, and the amazing thing to me is that the something so magnificent, <laughs> colorful could just melt your face right off. <laughs> That's positive energy. You get a nice, real, intense yeah. close-up here. Yeah. Okay, David Caruso stuff. Well, I guess we've found our man. Good. He used Very to be powerful. A, he used to be an English teacher. Uh huh. <laughs> I before E, yeah. except after C. Very nice. I hear he's doing cartoon voiceovers. Car cartoon voiceovers. I wonder what that would be like. <laughs> I did. I did. I did to a putty tat. Rocky, I know this is your big comeback. And I know I came back from the dead to train you. But this fight tonight is pure insanity! No way, Apollo. You just wanna you move. You move. You move. Easy, easy rock. Not too many syllables. I got lightheaded there. <laughs> hey, look, listen, I still got the eye of the tiger, you know that. Look, Rocky, you got the eye of a tiger and the IQ of a lima bean. You're not gonna be fighting a man tonight. You'll be fighting an animal. Animals don't scare me. Yeah? Well, this one will. <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld. America's got talent. You've got talent. This guy's got talent. What kind of a show is this? People are clapping. People change, are... change. Next to, uh, Bill, Bill Cosby. Well, thank you know, the people to come up with the juggling and the flipping and putting the thing. You lift the head and change, down. Change, change. Uh, Robin Williams. Robin Williams. Okay, thank you. Yes, thank you. Yes, and there's a kid at home going. Yes, there's something going. What the hell is going on there? Yes, something going on. Kick and ball and chain and kick and yes. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. Gilbert Gottfried. What kind of a show is this? I was just backstage. I saw a little girl singing opera standing next to a magician on stilts. That's not right. Change. Okay, um, Pee Wee Herman. It's really great to meet you, Sharon. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, Larry the Cable Guy. Well, I sit out there, that's the amplifier there, and that's, that's some people sitting over there. Change. That's, get her down! Okay. Uh, next to Stephen, Stephen Wright. I was once a contestant on America's Got Time. <laughs> and I lost. Because the judges didn't know that my secret talent was losing at competitions. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, last but not least, uh, Adam Sandler. All right. How you doing, Neil? My, my mother used to say all the time to me, she said, she would say, uh, why don't you have any daddy? And I would just say, shut up! Drink. <laughs> what about the people who said you, you, you got a... <laughs> right? About what Sorry. about the people who said you got an Oscar for yelling? Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> These are people. Look, you know what? There's let's, envy. Let's be truthful. Sure. I should have won an Oscar for The Godfather. I should have won an Oscar for Godfather 2, for Serpico, Dog Day Afternoon, not Bobby Deerfield. Um, Thank you for that. And Justice for All. I should have won a fucking Oscar for 25 motherfucking movies. But I didn't. <laughs> and now, they give it to me for Son of a Woman, and I should win it for Heat as well. I did do an Anna Rickman. Yeah. Could we trouble you for a little of your Rickman? What would you like me to say to you? <laughs> Was I? In Sorry. time with the Chewbacca thing, just natural well, knee-jerk. That's, that's one of my favourite Chewbacca it. moments. It's just that. <laughs> <laughs> I could do it. I mean, that 